Hello, my Tubies, my TikTokers, and my Twitters. Is she the true love? Yes, I stayed home today because, I don't know, yesterday my body was hurting, everything was hurting. I don't know what the hell was going on, but I know I stayed home today. I feel a whole lot better. I don't know whether it was, I thought I had COVID, but I took the COVID test and I don't have COVID. So it was just an overnight thing, and I feel good uh, right now, and it's good. What I want to talk about right now is... I was looking at this TikTok, you know how I do with my TikToks, and I didn't want to do a duet with this one because I know so many people have tried to gaslight me and make me feel like, oh, you're crazy. Oh, you just hate men. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you against marriage. Honey, I'm not against marriage. I have couples on my channel that I give praise to and I say two thumbs up and I encourage love, you know, if it's genuine and if God put it together, then that's a beautiful thing. Now, what I'm about to share with you this is something I've been saying for years and years. This is entitled, why do men who don't even like their wives and families, why do they get married? This is the reason why they get married. Okay, here we are. Women keep consistently asking me on these videos I've been making, like when I say most men do not even like their wives or families that much, they're just props. Like, well, why get married? Babe, because it's cheap labor. Let's do the math. Let's say a man spends $10,000 on a ring. Again, not what most men spend, but it's an easy round number. Let's say he spends it. Within one year, he has recouped his investment. 10000 divided by 365 days of the year. That's something a little over $27 a day. Men spend that, single men spend that on takeout because you know they don't cook. So, yeah, they spend that on takeout and, like, you know, catching mass transport in the uh, cities. I don't, you know, you can't have cars like New York and whatnot. And if he stays married for 10 years, that ring costs him about $2 a day, two, closer to $275. So, yeah, nearly $3. Babe, that's a huge savings because in return for that one-time down payment of $10,000, he gets a free maid, a free SW, free child care, you know, free secretary, all of that and so much more. And he also gets an investment. He gets an infusion of cash because a lot of women are down to split the bills. If they weren't doing it when they were dating, they're definitely down to do it with a husband. So he gets a lifestyle he could not otherwise afford on his own. He is, you know, able to afford a house now. He could have a car or a second car. He can get a vacation home. He can go on nicer vacations. All the things that were out of his reach. This is why you hear about men who, you know, get married all of a sudden are spending lavish on themselves. Yeah, before when he was living in a grody little studio apartment, he couldn't afford that. Now he gets married. He has a house with a man cave and he has every video game known to men every new technology that comes out he's getting it he's shopping for a new car every few years because he's got a safety net baby that's what you are you are a purse okay and when he gets older you're gonna be a nurse too like he is down to get all the benefits of commitment while never having liked you <laughs> and actually uh you love that cat too who i follow i love her i'm gonna link her here go follow her she said that not only do men get all those financial benefits uh, for themselves, they get married to have that source of cash to spend on other women. Thank and you. I mean, I think this is completely true. I have heard women who I know tell me stories about how a man, maybe a boyfriend, not a husband, but a boyfriend is with them. And he's talking to some other girl, getting money from that girl and spending it on her, buying her a new phone, paying her bills with the money he got from some other woman. They want you as a source of cash. OK, like and follow for more. And it's not just girlfriends that they do this to. They do it to wives as well because when you have the wife, you got somebody splitting the bills with you. You have somebody who is, like she said, uh, is, is, is free, is cheap labor. You know, back in the day, people used to get married for love and family and all of the above. This day and age, honey, please, the divorce rate has shot up from 50% to like 70%. You combine that, the divorce rate with the separation rate, that's like 90%. And there are some couples that I do admire. Like I said, Joyce Myers and her husband, yes, she used to be a heathen. He's the one who pulled her to Christ. Priscilla Shire and her husband, all spiritual, on God's team. 
always following Jesus Christ. Not governing body, not some Jehovah Witness crazy nonsense, no cult. No, they're all followers of Christ for real, for real. So when you have, like the Bible says, what God has put together, let no one pull apart, you won't have to worry about having a man who's like what you just heard here. But it's true. I, that's why my girlfriend, she said, I am not doing no 50-50, nothing when it comes to paying these bills. Because that just leaves him with extra money for his side piece. He's paying his side piece, telephone, her utility, making sure she has gas in the car, keeping food in her house. And maybe even helping her out with her mortgage or her rent. He has all that extra money left over. Considering he has this wife who's doing the financial heavy lifting. Every few years he's driving around in a brand new car. He got all the little gadgets and toys that he wants to play with. He can afford it. If he was out there living on his own. Would he be able to afford all of those things that he, uh, he can afford now? No. And I was just so happy when I found this video. I was like, I've been saying this for years. And people want to try to gaslight me, call me crazy. They want to sit up here and try to assign bad motives to me. Which I, I don't pay them no mind because they're all brain dead anyway. Stupid as all get out. But my point is, I had to share this with you. And I didn't want to do a duet. I could have did a duet. Uh-uh. I would give my gestures. <laughs> you know how I do on my duets. But I always conversate in the comments. If you notice on my duets. You go in the comment area. My comment is the first one that you'll see because I pinned my comment. So it's always going to be the first thing you see. So you do hear my viewpoint on the videos besides my sign language. But I wanted to share this with you live. Okay? I love you. Bye! <laughs>